What's good guys, it's Ilsun 4K, and I'm going to be the first to wish you a happy horror days. Yes, happy horror days, a new thing we're doing at my channel here on Ill TV, where if it's pop culture, you know it pops up here, is we are doing happy horror days, a month-long celebration of horror movies that take place on or around, you guessed it, Christmas. What a concept of originality for this channel. Anyway, speaking of Christmas and horror movies, as of 2015 when Krampus came out, we've been noticing a little bit of a popularity surge of Christmas movies in the horror spectrum, specifically talking recently with the remake of The Grinch known as The Mean One, which actually starred David Howard Thornton, aka Art the Clown from the Terrifier series, playing a murderous Grinch. Moving forward from there, there's also a bunch of cool little lesser known films that came out, but speaking of the granddaddy of them all, the next big Christmas film that comes out is actually going to be Terrifier 3, which was announced as a Christmas movie along with a teaser trailer and a release date of October 25th, 2024, which will be great leading into the holiday season with that coming out. Now, speaking of lesser known films, we're actually going to talk about a lesser known film today that's called A Christmas Horror Story, which is a little misleading because even though it's called A Christmas Horror Story, of course, you know I love anthologies. This is actually an anthology film and has a bunch of little stories in it all pertaining to Christmas. Now, I know how much you all love the idea of an anthology Christmas horror story film, but believe it or not, this is one of many, so don't think this is the only one. Make sure you go out there and search for yourself. But we're going to take a look at this film right now, so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you stick around for Happy Horror Days here on Ill TV, where if it's pop culture, you know it pops up here. Now, the one cool thing about this anthology film is that one of the stories actually doesn't have anything to do with Christmas, but it's just one of the four. And technically, there's a fifth story, because in between all the stories is one of the greatest casting decisions you've ever seen in a horror movie. They have William Shatner cast as an alcoholic DJ who's stuck in the radio station on Christmas Eve with his miserable co-host. And I mean, he breaks up the monotony between all these stories, and he's actually tied into the final story as he's a DJ stuck in Christmas Eve at a radio station just breaking up the monotony of these stories. So we'll talk about these stories right now briefly. The one that has nothing to do with Christmas actually involves a bunch of teenagers breaking into their school, which used to be a covenant, and more or less they're trying to investigate some deaths that happened there many, many years ago. There's some possession elements in the story. It's really cool. The next film is actually really great. It's about an individual who decides to go out and chop down a Christmas tree with his kid. He's actually a retired cop who couldn't be a cop anymore because he had the trauma of the previous Christmas of seeing two children die and he never solved the case. And as he takes his kid out to the forest, he finds his kid go missing. And when the kid that finally comes back, there's something a little off with him. There's another story where it's actually a spoof on the idea of over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go, where a family traveling to their grandmother's house for the holidays encounters some crazy Christmas-themed supernatural affairs that are absolutely mind-blowing and hilarious. And lastly, we have the story that we're all probably familiar with if we're looking at this film, Santa vs. Krampus, and that has an amazing twist ending that I don't want to ruin, but you haven't lived until you've seen Santa kill a bunch of his elves that have been infected by a zombie virus using all this toy shop items and his cane. I mean, it is really something to see. They did a great job with these stories. William Shatner as the divisive voice between everything in between them is hilarious. I mean, his acting is just so great and it makes this plot really more bearable because some of the acting in this is okay, but most of it is pretty good. Again, definitely a great plot. All right, for this review, it's no surprise. I love a good anthology film, okay? I'm one of the people that still thinks the original Halloween series should have just been one of those things where every year it was a new story like they were going for Halloween 3, but that just wasn't in the cards. That being said, I actually really do like this film. I want to say three of the four stories actually are great to me, and I think they're awesome. The one that I didn't like was the one that really didn't have anything to do with Christmas. It was just a little cliche and, you know, predictable for what it was, but it wasn't bad. It was just cliche and predictable to me. I will say the one thing about this film that's kind of hard to follow is um, we have William Shatner as the DJ opening this up and setting the tone just right for a Christmas movie. But the weird thing is the stories are kind of mismatched in the sense that they don't know what they're going for. Like the one that I mentioned about Over the River and Through the Woods um, to Grandmother's House We Go spoof was kind of like B-movie acting bad, but still really good. And the funny thing about these stories is they don't actually tell them one after another. They kind of tell them in between one another. So it makes following things even a little bit more difficult when the tones of everything is really off. 
But that aside, I don't want you to think this isn't a good movie. This is a good movie. This is a great anthology movie. It's just the whole tone of it is hard to follow. Aside from that, though, I really love this film. The gore in it is top notch. I mean, we see zombie elves getting decapitated, having things shoved into their eyes, hand mutilations. We see some really great gore in this film. I mean, for a 2015 film, before the, you know, grindhouse vibe really started kicking up, this film was really great on that note. I want to say the acting in the film is awesome, and one of the coolest things, like I said, is the William Shatner breakup of all the stories in between, and how they have him just play this miserable character who can't wait to get out of the radio station while reporting on these terrible tragedies going around the neighborhood. Again, I want to say you should watch it. You should definitely watch this film. Go into it with mediocre expectations, and you might find that you really, really enjoy it, in my opinion. So I'll be honest with all of you, I am severely, and I mean severely, lacking on Christmas horror movie watching in my life. I'm so focused on all those Halloween horror movies that I never really stopped to pay attention to a lot of the Christmas ones, and I'm starting to do that now. And I'm not going to lie, I'm glad I picked this one, because I went online looking for something that had a little bit of a following behind it and seemed really interesting, and once I found out this was an anthology, you knew I had to watch this. And I gotta be honest with you, this is a pretty good Christmas horror movie. It's not a great Christmas horror movie, but it's a pretty good one. And while it can be a little underwhelming at times and a little difficult to follow, that doesn't take away from the fact that this is an entirely enjoyable movie and one I would totally recommend watching to start off your holiday season if you're looking to do it in a spooky manner because this just hits all the right notes, right down to seeing William Shatner, like I said, in that Christmas outfit, just letting you know the season is here. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as we're reviewing Christmas horror movies all month long as I'm calling it on the Happy Horror Day season celebration. And make sure you check me out on Twitch at 9 p.m. on twitch.tv backslash illtv4k every Thursday night for the Total Terrorathon Thursday. That's Eastern Standards time. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you stick around for the videos. And remember, it's illtv, where if it's pop culture, it pops up here and have a happy holidays. <laughs>